Oh, hi, y'all. It's me, Hank Dilbert. Unofficial spokesman for Penn State football tailgating unofficially. I'm still applying for paperwork. Today, I'm going to teach you a tutorial on stump. An alcohol-infused tailgating tradition. Warning, the following is dangerous and should only be performed by intoxicated individuals. Viewer discretion is advised. Procurement. There are five said things that you need for stump to be performed. Number one, a stump. Number two, the nails. Number three, the hammer. And number four, beer. Number five, more beer. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Stump, nails, hammer, beer, and beer. Being from Central PA, Stumps ain't hard to find. Stumps ain't hard to find when you live five minutes away from the heart of the backwoods. Most everybody knows that stumps are descended from trees and can easily be harvested by several means. Number one, a stump can be removed from the ground after the tree has been cut. Or you can use a trunk. The trunk needs to be at least a foot in diameter in order to increase pliability. Number two, this is the way I procured my stump. It should everyone should do it this way is by far the easiest. Number two, remove stump from said other drunk hillbilly. Third, stumps can be bought from the interwebs on a site by the stump company. These guys make traveling stumps for the individuals that like to drive Priuses and Toyotas. The nails and the hammer. If you have a pickup truck, it's most likely those things will be lying in their flatbed. If not, go run on over to Home Depot, buy yourself some nails and hammer. There are a few criteria in which your nails and hammer need to be chosen. In regards to the nail, the nail needs to have a head and it be at least two and a half inches to three and a half inches long. The longer the nail, the longer your stump game will last. There are two factors that need to be considered when choosing the nail. Diameter. The nail diameter is related to the weight of the hammer used. If you use a thicker nail, then you need a heavier hammer. For this demonstration, I'm using a 10 penny, 10 D nail, and a one pound hammer. In order to increase the difficulty, say you are had become a professional at the stump game, then you'll decrease the weight of the hammer, making it more difficult to spin the hammer and hammer the nails down. Now, once you have all the materials, stump, nails, hammer, and beer, it's time to proceed. Step one, pour yourself a nice brew. It's best to be drunk beforehand so that you don't realize that this is a bad and dangerous idea. Step two, bring out your stump and a group of friends. Step three, you need a hammer down a nail for every person that is playing. Hammer down right in front of you. Using the space of about your hand, place the next spot for your next nail. Hit it about half an inch down into the stump. Repeat process until everyone has a nail. Done. Step four, to resolve any confusion of who this nail is whose, tell, the, tell everyone to place their finger on their designated nail. Now that the stump is complete, let the slaughter begin.
In order to decide who goes first, house rules apply. You either play rock, paper, scissors, Rochambeau, Russian roulette, don't matter. Whoever's running the tailgate decides. Now, you are first to go or have been past the hammer. What do you do? Plan out whose nail you are about to hit. Extend your arm out. Flip up the hammer with a simple flick of the wrist and then hit your opponent's nail that you previously had decided. Certain conditions of which you have to pass the hammer on to the next person and or take a drink. If you are in the process of flipping the hammer and drop it, oh no, I have dropped my hammer. Then you must take a drink and pass it on to the next person. Number two, if you had flicked the hammer and waited, and this is not a thinking game. This is a drinking game. There ain't no time for thinking. Just hit the goddamn nail. Too late, cause you thought, dumbass. Pass it on to the next person. Number three, if you said flip the hammer and pull back, then you must pass. You cannot pull the hammer back and hit the nail. It's illegal. Pass it on to the next person. Number four. Say you flip the hammer, you done good, you bought, oh, you hit your own nail. You're shit out of luck, take a drink, pass it on to the next person. Number five. If your nail gets hit by another opponent, then you take another drink. I pretend like I'm bad so I can keep on drinking. In the process of playing the game, your nail gets bent. Then the individual that had bent the nail needs to straighten it out until the group comes up with a consensual answer. Once your nail is flushed with the stump, then you are out. You have been disqualified. Once you are the last nail standing, you win. Thanks for stopping by. Now you know Stump, the game of champions. Come by next week where we learn other essential skills to be performed. Bye bye now. Y'all have a good time. Drink up. <laughs>